Hello world, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome to CodingScientist.com. We are watching a special series. We are trying to learn about artificial intelligence and robotics. Of course, we are building AI applications on robotics using Jetson Nano, NVIDIA's Jetson Nano JetBot. All right. So let's take a look at it where we are. So we are on lesson number 31 and we are going to run the collision avoidance AI model on JetBot. So this is a pretty interesting program. Uh, going forward guys from this lesson onwards, I'm going to walk you through the JetBot uh, ORG wiki uh, step by step and compare that with the code which is already there as a part of JetBot, right? So that's what we are going to do. So it, it's so that you guys will learn how to do R&D and fix the issues yourself. I'm not going to give you the answers. But there are tons of, <clears throat> you know, troubleshooting tips and stuff like that, which is well documented by uh, NVIDIA uh, in, 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 the, uh, in the JetBot uh, wiki itself. So let's go to the browser and uh, let me connect my Jetson Nano. So I have already connected to my Jetson Nano. If you can see, I can see my IP address here and it's totally on a headless mode. So let's, I hope you guys are ready as well. So let me go ahead and uh, HTTP colon slash slash 192.168.1.7. That is my Wi-Fi's IP address. Yours might be different. So make a note of it. There you go. So we are into the notebook, the JetBot notebook. So go to the main directory and double click on JetBot and then come to notebooks, double click on that. So yesterday, uh, you know, uh, in the last uh, two, three lessons, we did see the basic motion and we did go through the tele operation. I hope you guys had fun operating the bot remotely through the joystick, right? So let's go through collision avoidance, object following and road following. So these are all the examples very well documented uh, in the JetBot uh, wiki. So let's go through, guys, uh, one more thing from the JetBot wiki, uh, the, the, the manual which we have, which I have prepared, this is purely based on the JetBot wiki itself, right? So, but I just broke it down into multiple small, small lessons. For example, here you can see 31B, 31C with the screenshots and then how to optimize the AI model on Jetson Nano, the live demonstration of the neural network, which is already existing in your JetBot and it is documented in the wiki as well. So all these things you can go through by yourself because most likely this is going to be the last video for this particular series. Uh, as I said earlier, I want you guys to, you know, fetch along, read through the documentation and try to fix the issue and code it yourself. It's pretty easy. All the codes are there. You just got to follow this documentation and then systematically you will learn one by one. If I show you handhold you line by line, so you are not going to learn because I showed you two, three examples already like tele operation and the basic uh, motion of JetBot, right? So it's very easy to navigate. Now hereafter, you are going to do it yourself, all right? Of course, if you encounter any issues, do get back to me, I will help you. So now let's, let's go to, let's go to the browser back again. Now what we need to do, let's open up uh, collision avoidance, all right? Now in collision avoidance, what we need to do, let's open another browser called jetbot.org. Jetbot.org. If you open this, go to the examples section and we saw basic motion already. We did go through daily operation. Now let's go through collision avoidance. Just click on that. You are into that particular section. All right. So here it's pretty much very detailed documentation. How you are going to collect the camera using jet, uh, connect, collect the images using JetBot's uh, your your robot's uh, Raspberry Pi camera, and then how you are going to convert that into a zipped file and put it into the neural network, and how you are going to train that and stuff like that. Everything is documented. Let me just go through pretty quick. So what we are going to do is. Let's go through the first step. So 
what is the first step the first step is the image classification data set that will be used to keep the jetbot safe all right so we are going to collect the data so collect data on jetbot let's go to jupiter lab collecting data where is that particular section data collection see can you see a data collection double click on that and here you got the entire detail to run the code so what you need to do i showed you earlier you got to just highlight this you know control a highlight this particular section uh, the explanation of the codes are pretty much clear in this and it's very well documented in in the wiki as well just run this code and then run the next line of code there you go can you see my cam my jetbot camera is open i'm just moving my jetbot you can see me and i'm trying to explain to you uh, all the details here i'm i'm just focusing myself into the jetbot camera there you go guys it's pretty awesome isn't it and the streaming is pretty much very decent for such a small factor uh, camera all right let me keep it back let me just try to change the angle that is my 3d printer this is my lab all right it's pretty good okay now what we need to do let's run the next code all right go to the section 2 you can either select through the mouse or you can just press ctrl a and then click the run button here on the top run and then similar way the next section of code click the run button and then from uuid import you can go through the explanation for this code it's very well written run this line and now we can see okay there are some errors that's fine not not to worry about it you you will get to know what exactly that error is as far as you are able to get the streaming of this camera you are perfect and once you are done with that uh, let's see okay display the image so guys it's it's pretty much self documented very well self documented right so what and then you need you will get a grid like this you will get a two different boxes where you will start adding your pictures your photos you need to click so let's see what this error is input parameter on the click would provide a function okay let me just run this again so you got to close this through terminal if you just close the entire browser that's going to choke up your camera and your Jetson Nano as well. So it's it's always better close the kernel, go to the kernel and shut down all kernels, shut down all, okay, like this. Now what we need to do, go to the directory, main directory again, come to Jetbot, go to notebook, hope, double click on collision avoidance. Now let's see what happens. As for the instruction here, collect data on the Jetbot. So open here in the Jetbot wiki, if you uh, read through, open and follow data underscore collection dot IPYNB. Okay, data underscore collection. Let's go to that particular file, data underscore collection. So this is the one, the first one. Double click on that. All right, once you double click, we need to run this code. Let me just delete this data set dot zip because this was my previous one. Let me just delete it. All right. Let me also. OK, that is not required. Let's run this code again. Control A. Running the code. Now let's. OK, the image has populated. The camera streaming is live. Let me go to the next section, importing OS, control A, run this code. Okay, now we need to connect the widgets for to create the buttons to collect image data. Run this code, there you go. So we the, there are two different buttons which has been populated, right? Add free, add block. So what this means is when you are you need to hold your jetbot in your home or wherever you are in your office you need to position this physically right so 
uh, for example there are chairs and tables and some boxes in the front so that is considered as an object which is going to uh, avoid so you need to keep it in front of those objects you know and then you click add block that means this bot is going to detect that image as a block blockage in the path and then wherever there is a free space okay in the free space you need to keep the uh, move the bot again physically with your hand keep it in that particular position and add free so that's the way you're going to do it you need to collect at least about uh, 30 to 40 images of add free and 30 to 40 images of add block right more the number of image you collect in different different positions uh, within your environment that is your either your house or uh, or your office or wherever you are trying to build uh, the jet bot right you got to see around your environment the tables and the chairs and you know the navigation path wherever it is free right all those free path you can keep your jet bot focusing the camera on the front add to the free path right add free click add free it will keep adding so like that so in in my case i just added two two uh, pictures which is not going to work I, I was just testing it for myself once you do that uh, you need to just select this once you finish collecting about 30 to 40 images of add free and add block so total about probably about 80 70 to 80 images you need to uh, select and then come to the next code control a and then run this code again once you run this code okay the free block directories now go ahead and collect some data mm -hmm. different orientation and then now let's select the next there you go the image is populating again again we need to collect this add free add block add free add block once you collect now we need to stop the camera this is very important guys you need to stop the camera because if you leave it as it is and close the browser your csi camera port will get blocked so be very very cautious it has to be stopped so you got to use this command you, you got to use this code uh, camera dot stop function in python run this code your camera is stopped now and then what you need to do you need to zip this convert the entire pictures what you collected and convert that into a zip file so how do you do that select this code run this code and then you will see a zip file populating on the left side it should happen anytime soon unless until there you go so can you see here the data set dot zip it's come off here so this is how you are going to so now you got the data sets right now what you got to do go back to jetbot wiki and then now you need to put that into the pre-trained uh, neural network which is built by uh, nvidia and start training those data so this is, that is the section number two what you need to go down open and follow train model ResNet. okay so here there are two options train on jetson nano or train on other gpu machine so there are two different uh, aspects here either you can train it on the cloud on the on the, on the cloud uh, machine or you can locally train on your Jetson Nano, all right? So I would prefer option one where train the model uh, uh, using in collision avoidance, go to train underscore model ResNet 18. Okay, train underscore model. We can just drag it little bit side. Train underscore model ResNet 18 dot IPNY. Okay, this is the model. So this is what we are going to train. So double click, open it, and you can close the previous one, data collection.ip. You can just close it, right? Now you need to come to this section and then follow the same thing. You got to run one by one, one by one, one by one, slow and steady. All this you got to run one by one, defining the neural network, train the neural network. Everything is very well documented, guys. Once you finish that, just follow along with this Jetbot wiki. It's going to be very clear and easy. And then you got to optimize the model on Jetson Nano and then you can run the live demo on JetBot. Again, you need to go to this particular link, live demo uh, notebook to run the optimized model. Once you run this, you're, you can see you, your JetBot will automatically start moving around. You know, it's going to avoid the objects which you which you already, uh, you, the, the pictures which you took and it's going to turn left or right and keep moving around. So it, it, it's going to work like an autonomous uh, robot. So it's going to be pretty interesting, guys. 
and same way uh, you know you can go to the road following that is the next lesson you can uh, you can create your own model or you can use the pre trained model from uh, nvidia jetson and use this particular network and collect data and train of course for this particular uh, lesson you may need to have a dummy road which you need to create uh, within your environment either in your lab in your room or in your in your living room or wherever you are uh, you can just create some black marks and stuff like that like which should look like a road so you can use that by cutting the chart papers and the black color tape you can do it at home it's it's kind of and similar way for object following so object following again it's it's a very well documented guys you can use this particular uh, uh, lesson this particular tutorial go through this section go through this particular uh, you need to upload the pre trained ssd model and there are instruction how to upload all those things so guys it's it's that's the end this is the end of uh, this particular series and uh, i hope you guys really uh, enjoyed uh, building the jet bot and the lessons what i showed you and how to get along and stuff do your homework all right the lesson number 1 uh, uh, the basic motion and the tele operation i showed you how it how to make it to work right it worked very well after that uh, the collision avoidance i just showed you how to take the pictures right and now you need to train the data just follow the jet bot wiki train the data and you know try to make it work and then go to the next lesson and then go to the next lesson and then repeat again from the basic motions to the last lesson that is the road following once you do this 3 4 times you are going to master on not only on python but you will get a very good understanding of the neural network aspects you will understand the image processing you will understand uh, how to use the computer vision and the python code how to collect images train the data sets and make your robot work so basically after you follow this entire lesson systematically using jetbot wiki and the bot and my lessons my videos at least 4 5 times iterations you go through you will be mastered in building a autonomous robot using jetbot and you can start building your own as well so all right guys thanks for watching and uh, do reach out to me if you have any questions and i'll be glad to help you out goodbye happy jetboarding bye bye